Hello class, um, welcome to um, English, um, College English, whichever one you may be enrolled in. Uh, my name is Dr. Rob Thompson, I'll be your instructor for the course, and I wanted to come to you this morning and, and, and kind of walk you through some things that are common in all of my English classes. So uh, the class you see here on the screen is for an English 2130 that I have um, this semester, spring semester of 2022. But um, again, the information I'm going over applies to all of you regardless of your class. So uh, hopefully this will help, especially if you're new to online learning. Um, so let me just jump right into it. Uh, here you have what's the main menu of the course. Uh, there will be a, a link added that for this video, um, and um, um, it'll be added somewhere in here, but for the most part, this is what you'll have. These are your links. That I, this is my view. I guess I should go to the student preview uh, to get rid of that. Uh, this, is, this is what you'll see as a student. Um, announcements, of course, I will post a welcome announcement for the course, and then I, I post, um, you know, so, uh, sometimes, so it depends on how frequently, it depends on what's going on, but uh, I will post information you need to know, and I will try to send out an email um, that goes along with that announcement to make sure you see it. Um, of course, the syllabus and schedule, uh, your grades here, you can keep up with your grades here, right? you can click on My Grades. Uh, it'll show you the assignments and then what you made on it. Let's go ahead and start, though, with the syllabus and schedule. Um, again, the, the, the specifics will um, change. Um, of course, there are my office hours. I am located on the Gordon County campus. Uh, however, I'm also in, in high schools teaching dual enrollment classes, so I'm not always in my office. Um, these are the times that I will try to be here, but I uh, highly recommend um, getting in touch with me, uh, uh, setting up an appointment. Um, before you, you just show up, because I'm not always able to be here um, when I when I plan on being. So uh, you're welcome to come in and ask questions, but uh, again, I do encourage you to make an appointment. Um, and then here's, of course, a lot of this is GMTC's kind of information. The, the, the main the main things on here that I care about, the main things you want to notice, uh, of course, the course competencies and objectives. Uh, most most of the courses I teach have three or four objectives and, and those are for 2130 uh, American Lit. Uh, the, uh, the attendance policy, you'll want to note that, um, and then the evaluation, how the grades are broken down, uh, you'll certainly want to note that, um, again, for your, your course, whatever that may be. Um, this is for the particular course that I'm about to teach. Um, I wanted to, to, to um, uh, point out to you that the, there will be two uh, in the summer, there'll be three, uh, because in the summer we have to get things done in a quicker amount of time, but either two or three class days, what I call class days, and those are the days that, that things are due, that things will always be due on those days. In this case, you may see here it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, and they say Mondays and Wednesdays or whatever, but, but um, you know, there will, be, uh, there will be two days where assignments are due, um, and, and um, you just have to always know that. Uh, they're easy to keep up with uh, because of the, the handy schedule that I provide. I recommend you print this out and, 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 and really keep up with it. Highlight things, cross things out as you do them, make this your, your document for the course, uh, and it tells you what's due on, on, on each day. Uh, you see here's, a, again, Tuesday, Thursday schedule, so we have a discussion board, another one, uh, some assignments, uh, and I'll get into all those later, how that works. Uh, and, and this tells you exactly what's to you on what day. At the bottom here, you'll notice it says, uh, please note, uh, let's see if I can get that in here. Uh, for discussion boards, you make your initial post the day before. So for example, um, here, there's a discussion board due on May 24th. However, you should read those articles and make your initial post on May 23rd, the day before. Uh, because part of a discussion board, if you've been in an online class, you know this, Part of a discussion board is to re respond to your classmates, to say something about what they said. And if everyone waited to the last minute, obviously no one would have anyone to anything to respond to. No one could do that part of the assignment. So in the interest of fairness, uh, instead of letting some people, some people are going to get it done early no matter what. Some are going to want to put it off to the last minute no matter what. So to, for those in the interest of fairness, for those who, who want to get things done early, um, we need to all get things done at least the day before, our initial post the day before, and then um, um, respond to, to two people, at least two people, 
the next day. So uh, in that case, you really have assignments due on three different days uh, if it's a discussion board. Uh, um, you know, it has to be this way. We have to have due dates. We can't just have everything being turned in at the last minute, uh, obviously, uh, if I'm going to, to be able to grade uh, effectively. Um, okay, so uh, that's the syllabus and schedule, very important. Um, um, and then you get to the lessons here. The lessons is, is really where you're going to spend most of your time. Uh, uh, this tells you, this, you know, goes into detail about those uh, uh, assignments that we just saw here. Um, what does this mean on the Folsom Morning Discussion Board? Well, that's in the lessons. And so we, the, the first of all, we have our introductory discussion board. Now, anytime it's a discussion board, you will find it, interestingly enough, in the discussion boards uh, tab. And there's, there's all the information you need to know about that discussion board. Uh, when you've read it, when you know what you're doing, you click on it uh, um, and actually gives you the, the directions again. And then you, it says create a thread. Notice, uh, I, hopefully they're all made so that it's post first. You can't, you can't read the other people's discussions until you've created your own thread. Then you can participate in the discussion board. Uh, um, that's, a, that's a way of cutting down on cheating people who don't really read the literature. They just read what other people say about it and, and regurgitate. Uh, so I learned that trick uh, a couple of years ago. Anyway, so you want to click on Create Thread, and then you make your initial post. And then you click on a couple of other threads, read those, respond to them, and, and you've got your grade. Uh, for the most part, discussion boards are, are, you know, any of these assignments are easy grades as long as you do them and follow the directions. But, you know, that's key, follow the directions. Uh, let's go back to our lessons. Uh, um, uh, this guide to literary analysis writing is, is also linked over here, literary analysis writing. Um, it's really not an assignment, but it is going to help you um, in all of the assignments, all the discussion boards, everything we do, the, certainly the essays. Uh, 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 it will help, uh, um, you know, um, um, help you analyze literature in your writing uh, using quotes and that kind of thing. Now, if you're in 1101, that won't be there. Uh, 1101 is really not anal it's really not a literature class. It's just purely a composition class. But 1102 and 2130 are, are about analyzing literature. So um, in, uh, in writing, so so you'll want to be sure and check that out. And then and then it'll and then you just keep on going sequentially. It's as easy as it can be. The first thing in this class is theme one, uh, the American Dream, and and here are the here's the literature. Um, let me just point out when it's an assignment, this one right here is an assignment, two perspectives on America assignment. You don't go to the discussion boards for an assignment. You just click on the assignment and, and you know, uh, you, you want to type whatever, you know, the directions say to type. You want to do the assignment uh, in a Word document or uh, um, uh, uh, if you do it in a, uh, um, you know, a, um, what's that called? The Google, you know, uh, uh, um, drawing a blank. Uh, um, but, you know, the, oh, I'm sorry, Google Docs, Google Docs. I'm sorry, I, I drew a blank there. If you do it in Google Docs, uh, you want to be sure and say, uh, download as, you go to file, I think it is, and go down to download as a Word document. Uh, you don't want to just attach a Google Docs to this. I won't be able to open it. There are plenty of times during the semester I give someone a zero and say, I can't open it. Uh, uh, and, and of course, I give them a chance to, to resubmit. But, um, um, but, but to avoid that problem, you need to, uh, um, to, to, to be sure to, to save it as a Word document. And then just attach it here like you, you, know, you would anything else, and, uh, and, and you're good to go. Uh, I'm assuming, obviously, this, this, this is assuming you have some you know, familiarity with computers and, and, and attaching files and that kind of thing. If you're lost, if you're, if you're overwhelmed by this, then you probably need to, to seek out some help. I'll be glad to, to sit down with you one on one if you want to do that here in my office. Uh, there are other people on, on, on the campus, the GNTC campus, that could help you. Uh, uh, and of course, the writing tutors uh, for, for, for writing, if you, if, and then I guess they could help you navigate Blackboard as well, but certainly I recommend the tutors are wonderful. Uh, the, everyone I know, well, I don't know them all, but the ones I know are, are wonderful and helpful, and, and I highly recommend them. And so that's, that's the class. Uh, you know, you want to, uh, the questions will always come up. Can I turn things in late? Uh, is it too late to turn in so-and-so? The answer is always no. Of course you can turn things in late. Uh, read your syllabus. The syllabus says for all three classes, uh, 1101, 1102, 2130, 
the syllabus says you can turn things in with a 10 point per class day penalty. So Tuesdays and Thursdays or whatever your class days are, 10 points per class day up to 40 points. So after two weeks, roughly, uh, uh, it's a, a 40 point penalty and then you can turn it in whenever and, and, and get the same penalty, 40 points. You are not, you're not going to pass with that, obviously. You're not going to pass that assignment, but at least you get some credit. And um, um, hopefully, it, you know, it, it would help. So yes, you can always turn in late assignments. Uh, um, you want to uh, um, be sure and, um, uh, you know, be conscientious in, in not racking up late points, not turning things in late, uh, sticking to the schedule. Uh, the more behind you get, the more stressed you get. Uh, the more you put things off, the more the stress is going to build. And I know a lot of you are, are busy. You have a career, full-time job, maybe even a family. Uh, you're a non-traditional student. And I, and I love teaching you know, non-traditional students. I love and admire people who come back to school and uh, maybe are even older than me or are close to my age and they're still, still working on their education. That's wonderful. Uh, uh, and I'll help you any way I can. But you still have to do your work. You still have to turn it in on time. This is a, a college class and uh, deadlines are just, are just part of the game, I'm afraid. Um, so anyway, I'm sure when I'm finished, I'm going to think of, of a million things that I, that I should have said that I forgot. If it's important enough, I'll, I'll, I'll post another video. But, um, but this certainly um, gets you started. Uh, uh, if you have questions, you have my email address. Uh, um, and, um, you know, I, I, I have you know, plenty of students make A's, and I have plenty who, who unfortunately don't, don't finish the semester. Uh, you know, a lot of B's, obviously, uh, B's and, and C's are more common, but, but you certainly can get this class done if you make up your mind to do it, and I'm here to help in any way I can. So I look forward to working with you, and again, please let me know if you have any questions.